Hi Fight Fans, welcome back again to another video with the African Fighters and on today's episode we're going to be bringing you a recap of UFC 286. Alright, now UFC 286 went down and it was a really amazing event. We had a lot of matches to look forward to, headlined by Leon Edwards taking on Kamaru Usman. We had Justin Gaethje vs Rafael Visev, Gunnar Nelson vs Brian Barberena. We had Jennifer Meyer taking on Cassie O'Neill and Marvin Vittori taking on Roman Dolice. Alright, now the three standout matches of the card was Vettori opening the show against Dolitze. This was a really interesting match to look forward to. A big bully in the octagon. And the same for Vettori too, he's also a pretty aggressive fighter and not one to back down from a challenge. Now this fight got off to a pretty intense start. Both fighters landing big shots, heavy shots throughout the fight. Marvin Vettori was the more technical fighter on the day, which you can tend to say for Vettori in a lot of fights. Dolitze brought brute force and strength into the octagon and he proved that he belonged among the top middleweights of the division. And at the end of the day, Marvin Vettori managed to land a lot of leg kick while Dolitze was able to land big shots, got Vettori in trouble a couple of times. But at the end of the day, the experience of Vittori told and he came out of this one victorious, winning by unanimous decision. Right now, the most interesting fight of the night, the co-main event, Gaethje always brings the fire into the octagon and we did not disappoint this time. Gaethje went up against Fisev, who is one of the fastest strikers in the lightweight division. Fisev, who was just outside the top five ranking, took on the number three ranked Justin Gaethje for a chance to get himself into the top five and into the title contention. Gaethje was expected to wrestle because a lot of people thought that even though he's an amazing boxer, an amazing striker, Fisev was just too fast on his feet striking. As Visev has proved in other fights, he's a really really fast striker and can get you out of there with one strike. Gaethje came into the fight and even though he has a wrestling background, did not wrestle very much, believed in his stand-up games, stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Visev and absolutely bludgeoned Visev. Visev landed a couple of shots, Gaethje ate them well, landed his own shots, but Gaethje just hits really really hard, it's one of the hardest eating lightweight you're ever gonna see and that proved to be the difference between the two fighters. Both fighters landed big shots, Gaethje's shots did more damage and in the third round all that damage came together against Visev and Gaethje took advantage. Visev managed to stay in the fight until the end of the third round and then went to the judges. The judges scored a majority decision in favor of Gaethje as one judge decided the match should have ended in a draw. Gaethje, the human highlight, always reminding us why he is the most exciting fighter in the UFC. And alright, from there we go to the main event of the evening, Kamaru Usman took on Leon Edwards for the third time in their careers. This was a highly anticipated matchup. There was a lot of talk before the fight. Kamaru Usman, would he be able to overcome all his injuries or would the Jamaican be able to hold on to his title and make a successful first title defense? Both fighters stepped into the fight. Leon Edwards dominated round one with a lot of strikes. The champion, Leon Edwards, setting up that high head kick, which he eventually landed in the fifth round. But this time, Kamaru Usman saw it coming and was able to get out of the way so that he did not land flush. The final moment in the fight was Usman attempting so many takedowns and then Leon Edwards preventing those takedowns. And even the few times he was able to take him down, there was no damage done on the floor. And Leon Edwards always found a way to get back to his feet, as it was obvious that Usman's wrestling is not what it used to be. As the fight came to the final moment in the last round, it went to the judges. Of course, Leon Edwards, being the home fighter, being the champion, would definitely have the advantage on the scorecard and come out victorious in this one, as he did enough to hold on to his title. Leon Edwards coming out victorious just makes the welterweight a lot more interesting. If Usman were to have won, the amount of people who will be able to compete for the title next will be limited because he has run through the division already. But Leon Edwards winning this opens the welterweight to a lot more challengers as Dana White came out and said Kobe Covington is going to get his next shot at the title. So we expect to see Leon Edwards defend his title against Kobe Covington come July. That will be a big matchup, two amazing strikers. Nobody's really going to try and wrestle. Covington is a completely different animal to Usman. But that was UFC 286 recap. It was an amazing show. Thank you for staying with us. And so that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section. Have a wonderful day.